there are some foundational principles for constructing any sort of speech or presentation that you will give. It doesn't matter what type of speech it is. These foundational building blocks will assist you in proper structure and organization. So over the next several minutes, we are going to talk about the general purpose, specific purpose, and thesis or central idea of any speech and or presentation. Starting with the general purpose, that is your overall goal as the speaker. So when you're sitting there thinking about your presentations that are coming up, you need to ask yourself, what is my goal as the writer? For example, your intercultural presentations, your goal will strictly be to inform. So when you're thinking about the general purpose, this is the first building block. This is all about you, the person that is preparing the presentation. Following the general purpose is the specific purpose. This is your goal for the audience. What do you want us walking away knowing after hearing your speech or presentation? This is what we call a specific purpose. My specific purpose as it relates to the intercultural presentation might be something like, after hearing my speech, my audience will know some of the interesting facts about the Hmong culture. This is very specific. So we've gone from broad general purpose to specific um, and narrow in our focus. We do this because the specific purpose should feed directly into your thesis or your central idea of your speech or presentation. The thesis, or it's also known as a central idea, is the overall main idea of your entire speech or presentation in one statement. This is the most difficult aspects for aspect for a lot of students to grasp because you're taking a five to seven minute presentation and for the thesis and you're telling us in one statement what it's all about. Some things to remember is that it needs to be in the statement. It can never be in the form of a question. Even when you're creating your outline, which will ask you to put these items on there, you don't want to put it in the form of a question like, what is the Hmong culture? You want to make it a declarative statement. The Hmong culture New Year's is a celebration of the end of the harvest season. Simple, clear, concrete, declarative. And then it sums it up simplistically enough that you will have the entire body of your speech to tell us what that looks like. So your central idea is essentially a snapshot into what your entire speech or presentation is going to be about. It must be simple, clear, and concrete, and you can only present one idea. Oftentimes you'll see that some people will follow the thesis statement they won't follow it. They will include a preview statement with it. That's incorrect. You want to keep the thesis or the central idea separate from your preview statement. It will follow in succession of one another, but you must keep them separate because one is giving the overall main idea and then one is giving us a snapshot of what it is you're going to be talking about in the next couple of minutes. So I have um, given you one example already, such as the Hmong New Year is a celebration of the end of the harvest season. Another example might be the Hmong New Year celebration in Eau Claire brings people together to celebrate a culture. It's simple, clear, concrete, easy to follow, and then your, preview, your points will go in succession nicely after that. To give you a little bit of practice, I have an assignment in E360. Let me just pull that up so you can see what that looks like. It's called vi um, Practice Recording Identifying Culture and Purpose. Oops, let's go back. So if I go in there, it's um, in the lesson itself. It's not on a separate Word document. That's why when I clicked on the gray box, it went directly to the Dropbox. 
All I'm asking you to do for this recording is to identify the culture or co-culture you plan on presenting for your intercultural presentation and then identify what your purpose will be for the presentation. So when I say purpose, you'll notice here it says general and specific. So I would here identify the culture that I plan on observing and or participating in will be the Hmong Celebration New Year in Eau Claire. In fact, I just went there and it was an amazing experience. So if you get some time, definitely do that. Um, and then my general purpose would be simply an everyone needs to have the same general purpose. Your general purpose is to inform. So when you're submitting this recording, you've identified the culture as the Hmong New Year celebration. Your general purpose, simply to inform. Then your specific purpose. After hearing my presentation or my speech, my audience will know some of the interesting facts about the Hmong culture. Or after hearing my speech or presentation, my audience will know some of the interesting facts about the Hmong, Hmong New Year. Something along those lines. So when you're putting yours together, just simply identify your culture or co-culture that you plan on observing and or participating in. Identify the general purpose and then identify the specific purpose. This all should be submitted onto one recording um, to the Dropbox located within that assignment. If you have any questions, please contact me as soon as possible. Email, call, or stop by. Thank you.